Okay. Yeah, I'm live now. Cool. Uh, welcome to, uh, yeah. Just me relaxing, doing a tiny little stream since I didn't really stream that much or that well this weekend. Uh, so I figured I would just come back and stream a little bit more. Let me just quickly check that everything's looking good and then I'll trans transition over to where everyone can see my screen. Okay. So basically I'm just looking through decks to figure out when I want it, what I want to try playing. Uh, let's be dumb and just go with this one. All right. Uh, Here's my screen. I'm just going to hop into a random server and play this dumb deck I have. And refresh. Let's try TCG and 2022. I'm realizing it's entirely possible that they're just... Oh, here we go. Player. Let's see if I can hop in this one. Nope, I'm spectating. Ah, lovely, they're gone. Here we go. That's all pre-release. Hmm. Oh, cool. Got a new follow on Twitter. Yeah, I don't know. It's just been, it was a long week. And then, especially with COVID and being sick and all that and trying to recover and then transitioning from COVID into being back at work. So I was just trying to relax this weekend, so I didn't really stream as much, especially since I was just tired. Looks like these are all pre-release. Here we go, let's see if I can join this one. Nice. I think you'll like the dumb deck that I named after... Uh, Law from One Piece. Just because I think it's funny and it reminds me of the character Chaz from. Uh, Law has the same sort of attitude as Chaz from uh, Yu Gi Oh! GX. I really like Yu Gi Oh! but I know more about the card game than uh, the anime series. My favorite is probably 5Ds, which I think a lot of people really like. I feel bad, but I just never really felt like I could take uh, GX seriously. <laughs> I It's really good. I always hear how good it is and everything. But, I don't know. It just wasn't really my style. Yeah, that's right. I'm playing Ojamas. Select two main lands, two zones in the field. <laughs> okay let's go ahead and set this now and in turn it's dumb i know it's dumb i uh was just throwing in dumb cards what do you do yes let's go ahead and ash blossom that and let's see if they can negate it Ooh. Called by the grave. Ah, oh, dang. So they're just going to banish my ash, blo ash Blossom. That's not a big deal. Oh, are they playing Cyber Dragons? Okay. 
And I'm playing Ojamas. Cybernetic Overflow just got added to their hand. They said feel the graveyard. If I actually lock them out of stuff with this, that's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, geez, come on. It would be nice if I could actually get some cards I can use instead of just, you know, basically garnets. But, you know, the Ojama decks are rarely consistent. I know there was a... Uh, there was a video by... Uh, Hard Leg Joe recently that really showed off how inconsistent and hard to use they can be. Because he was trying to do his normal thing of, oh, I'll try to get into the highest tier. Hmm, okay, cool. So that lets them destroy cards, destroy spell traps. And then they get to bring one back to their hand. Or no, they get to dr grab one from deck. If they... Likely if they put... I have a Cyber Dark Dragon deck, but I don't really... <laughs> oh, my dude. Oh, okay. That's interesting. And now they'll see that I'm just playing Ojamas. <laughs> and they'll probably just be like, what the fuck is wrong with this dude? Go! Ojama country! <laughs> oh man, I have to fucking discard this card so I can actually use it. Well, discard or have it destroyed on the field. Yeah, they're really starting to go now. Ooh, fusion summoning something. Let's see. Meanwhile, I'm just sitting here with one Ojama to keep me from getting fucked up. And uh, Ojama Country, which will not save me. Beauty. <laughs> We saw uh, the new Jurassic World movie the last night, and while we were there, Tornado Warning came through, and they're destroying every spell trap on my field. Good to know. Ah, Chimeratron. Very powerful. Now they're just going to kick the shit out of me. <laughs> Twenty one hundred and then twenty five hundred. Oh no, can this one attack multiple times? Oh, I guess it can. Nice. Well, good to them. <laughs> I don't have a side deck. Side decking completed. <laughs> Uh, let's go first. Why not? Okay. Here we go. I can kind of work with this. Send that to the graveyard. Oh. Okay, well that fucks me over. Let's go ahead and set you just to have something on the field and in phase. Yeah, Ojamas are so inconsistent that any type of negation just ruins them. Yep, let's Ash Blossom that immediately. And they've probably got another one. Or they've got Branded Fusion, so they're just going to Fusion Summon immediately. Pippi. It's not food time yet, honey. Food time is around like 5.30 to 6, because that's when I normally get home from work. 
Okay, so I'll be in the Branded Dragon, which means they're going to bring out that other fusion monster, I'm guessing. And then probably just try to fucking decimate me in this first turn using that other one. By sending more cards from there. Oh no, bringing out Mirror Jade, the Ice Jade Dragon. Ice Blade Dragon. Banish my thing, my monster immediately, and attack for 3,000, or are they going to do more? Attack for 3,100? Okay. And then I'm going to guess this is coming back onto the field, or is it adding overload fusion to their hand? Okay. Hmm, that's not going to help me. Yeah, I'm fucked. Ah. That'd be nice if I actually had all the Ojamas, but... You know. They're going to banish it, I'm guessing. Destroy all monsters your opponent controls during the end phase of this turn. Okay, so that's a good card. <laughs> Can I make a comeback? Probably not. But, you know, just going to have fun with it. That's going to let them get another card into hand, I'm guessing. Here comes what card? Nope, bringing a card from their deck onto the field. Branded Fusion. So they're probably going to fuse again. And I still can't do anything, so I guess I'll just put that down and block these. Uh, yeah, I didn't draw very well. But then again, I am the same person who played against an AI, had five cards left in my deck, and still couldn't draw Exodia. So, you know, that's my luck, but oh well. Let's see if there's someone else I can play against. You look fun. Let's try to join you. Nope. Didn't make it. Join you. Yeah, made it in. Uh, let's go with a different deck. Okay, let's go with... Well... Thanks, I was just choosing a deck. Okay, let's actually go back and choose a different deck now then, so that we have it ready. Hmm. Let's see, a fun one to play would probably be... Here it is. Vampires, let's see how I can do with some vampires. Nope. Ah, lovely. They kicked me. So I can't join anymore. Nope, didn't make it into that one. Gotta love the patience they have. Uh, they didn't ready for like 10 seconds. Let's just kick them. I was looking through decks. I mean, I guess I get it, but, you know. Kind of a shitty thing to do. And I'm ready. You gonna kick me again? <laughs> Are you actually gonna start the duel? There we go. Probably going second since I lost. Most decks want to go first. Unless they decide to have me go first. Nope. They're going first. What I expected.
Oh, Life Twin. Nice. It's a cute little archetype. I like the artwork on it. Really cute. It's an interesting archetype, though, because it's all about having both of these cards on the field all the time and just constantly summoning into their evil twin and live twin link counterparts. Actually, I think it's only evil twin link counterparts. But there's like a level five version that's also a live twin. And then going into another evil twin... And going to summon out another live twin from their deck, I'm guessing. Nope, summon back their uh, evil twin from their graveyard. Draw a card. Nice. It's definitely a combo deck. So they might be at this for a little bit, because, you know, combo decks can go for a while. Abomination's Prison. Add one unchained card from your deck to your hand. Oh. Hmm. Okay. So they're using Unchains in this deck as well. Unchained Twins. Oh, I guess it's a twin deck. Would be cute. Escape of the Unchained. Unchained Twins does. You can turn one card you control. You cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except Fiend Monsters. Oh, yeah. And they, the uh, Live and Evil Twins are Fiends. So that works in their favor. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'd be down to duel you. That'd be fun. <laughs> you might win. I'm not super good at the game. I'm just playing casually with pretty stupid decks most of the time. But yeah, I can, uh, if you want, I'll set up a uh, room with a password and you can hop in after this. Kia. Target one card you control, destroy it. Also, you cannot special some monsters except fiends. Destroyed by card effect except unchained twins. Battle effect you can special summon. Ah, okay. And they brought out unchained abomination. Please destroy card effect except by unchained abomination. Ah, okay. Well, let's just go ahead and. Can I even summon anything right now? Probably not. Let's just set those out there so they can do something if I'm able to get a vampire out, but I don't have any of the vampires I need. And they're going to look at me like I'm crazy because <laughs> I didn't even summon anything. Unchained Abominations effect goes off. one card on the field destroy it okay so once per turn destruction and then if i destroy something once per turn destruction as well as well as battle destruction hmm powerful card interesting archetype evil twin lilla so they're probably going to bring out evil twin can't remember the name there it is, Kisikal, Kisikal. Not sure how to say that actually. <laughs> if I play against you though, you have to promise not to look at my hand or anything. <laughs> and there's the Evil Twins Trouble Sunny. That's like their newest card. I think. This card, special summon one, Kisickle monster, and up to one little, little monster from your graveyard. Here comes all damage. Is that enough to kill me? No, probably not, but it'll be close. Oh, wait, they don't have that one in attack position, so now it's not going to kill me.
Okay, so there's both of those coming back. And destroy my other card. Yep. So I'm not going to be gaining back any life points anytime soon, which will suck. Oh, and it's still battle phase, so they're just going to take me out here most likely. Yep. Dang, I did. Fuck all. Well, it didn't help that I drew no cards I could use. I still don't have a side deck on this one. <clears throat> Let's see if I can do better this time. Let's go first. Here we go. Cards I can actually summon. Okay, Unizombie. Create one face-up monster on the field. Discard one card. Make you increase that target's level by one. And are they going to destroy it immediately? Mm, yep. Negates effects at least, so I can't actually send anything to the graveyard. Oh, I can still send things to the graveyard. I can't. I can't still send things to the graveyard. I thought it would let me... Uh, still pay the price of the effect... Because a lot of times, uh, <laughs> I look so focused. Well, thank you. Uh, a lot of times when effects are negated. Oh, in the game context, the graveyard is uh, basically. It's where destroyed cards go. So if something is destroyed or discarded, it goes to the graveyard. And a graveyard is technically one of the easiest places to get a card from. So, because it used to be the graveyard was just, once it's sent there, it's pretty much gone. Uh, but that was back a long time ago, and there were a few cards that could get around that. And now it's more, the graveyard is almost a secondary hand. So the graveyard is super useful. Uh, meanwhile, the Banish Pile, which is above the graveyard, that is pretty much completely removed from the game, except for a very few cards, and then Banished Face Down is cannot be retrieved at all. Or at least, it used to be. I think there was like one card that came out recently that changed that. Cool, I can summon you. Sent to your graveyard by your opponent, you can add one Dark Vampire Monster to your deck. It's normal summon you. You probably won't be able to do anything super useful. But it'll be something at least. And phase. Yeah, I was hoping with the Unizombie that I could still discard because a lot of times negated effects allow you to still have the cost go through, but the effect won't go off, but, you know. Yeah, uh, there's plenty of cards that let you summon from the graveyard. For example, all three of these have the ability to summon themselves, well, these two cards have the, the ability to summon themselves from the graveyard. You have to discard another vampire monster, vampire card from your hand to do so, Yes, let's use that effect. And let's add this card. That's going to be useful. Yes. Activate. Uh, 
uh, I have to discard something, and then once they're removed from the field after being summoned, they get banished. Is it going to let me? Yes, it is. Sweet. Let's go for 1100 and that's going to spend some of my life points to increase her attack and defense. No, don't activate that. Which should hopefully destroy that unless, no, because it's not an attack position, right? Maybe one of these facts. Dude. Target the monster, and then I can use. Nope, I don't want to do that, but this would be nice. Are they going to negate that? Haha! <laughs> You're useful, because you'll get me life points back as well. Maybe this wasn't as useful as I thought. Maybe this was a mistake. And then let's go ahead and set this, just because I can. <laughs> Okay, so I'm kind of just clinging to life right now. Just hoping I can survive. But that's okay. Because I can do things still. I'm not out of the game yet. Still, it, I'm in a pretty precarious position right now. Uh... I think subscriptions are allowed. I don't know if I get any money or anything, but you're probably allowed to subscribe. Because I'm not really partnered with Twitch yet. So it's up to you. Sweet. That'll let me grab a card from my deck. Let's go with you, because you're just super useful all the time and then they're probably going to destroy this one or not nope there it goes sweet and that's what I want because I want to be able to summon that back from the graveyard ah shoot that might have been the wrong one actually no wait that's fine ash blossom that'll be useful activate you send that to the graveyard special summon it pay 500 are they gonna let me grab a card or are they gonna nope there it is okay now let's activate this activate you Send that to the graveyard. Summon it here. Special summon. Yes. Pay 500. No, I don't want to Ash Blossom myself. Why would I want to do that? This card is normal. A special summon you could pay. Should be graveyard? No, probably not one new. Win this card or a vampire monster. Oh, let's go with you. And then let's activate you. Normal summon you without tribute to here. Yep. There we go. Battle phase. Attack. Gain back life points. Nice. 
and they're going to activate an effect. Bring out Unchained Soul of Disaster. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. So that's going to be the end of my turn. Main phase two. And now I can special summon. Ooh. I think summon you turn one once. Cost three reds. Tribute one vampire monster, then target one monster. Graveyard special on two opponents. Draw one card. Oh, that's useful. And then a Vindred is just an interesting card that works in this deck. During damage calculation, if this card battles an opponent's monster, you can send one zombie monster from your deck to the graveyard. That opponent's monster loses attack. Yeah, so that's just <laughs> a fun one. This one would let me draw a card right now, which would probably be useful. Let's go with the U. You can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard. Uh, do I want to activate that right now? Probably not. But then I can special summon something else, but probably not right now. They have a fiend deck, right? Dark ruler no more, and they negated all my monsters. Whew! Is that a permanent? And where are they doing now? Ah, lovely. So they're just able to summon this. Jeez. Well, I should have just used it and summoned something. Or, so I could draw. Oh, yeah, th so this is uh, EDO Pro. It's a Yu-Gi-Oh simulator. Everything on it is free, but it doesn't let you compete in any tournaments or anything. It does have a competition mode, which is nice. Uh, I mainly like to use it to just build random decks. And there goes my other card that I wanted to keep. Mm. Hmm. Uh... Let's just set that for now and end phase. They're probably going to destroy it soon. Is this going to let them special summon from the deck? Because if so, I can negate it with Ash Blossom. Wouldn't it suck if they were watching my stream right now? <laughs> Just countering everything I do because they're watching it. <laughs> okay, so they're bringing out Black Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. Someone's using their point cannot target it with card effects. Ah, lovely. And that's... Oh, right. It was face down, so it wasn't considered in my possession. Well, that's my fault. Oh, wait, there it goes. Let's add... Let's see, any one vampire card. Well, of course, I'm going to go for vampire Fraulein. In case they attack... But they know better this time, because, you know. Let's activate you. Send that to the graveyard. 
Special summon it in defense. Pay 500. Activates effect. So I can grab a spell trap. Let's go ahead and grab... Uh, I'm going to go with Vampire's Domain again. Vampire's Domain is just too good of a card. Activate you. So I can normal summon you without tribute. Activate you. Well, fuck. Yeah, I have to go with you. Special summon in defense. Pay 500. Activate effect. No, I don't want to Ash Blossom myself. Because Ash Blossoming myself would actively fuck me over. Ah, you work. Main phase, you can normal summon one vampire. Yep, activate. Normal summon. Let's use you. Yes, pay 1,000. Let's get... Oh, who do I want to bring back? You know what? Let's go with you. Special summon. Okay, that was probably a mistake now that I'm thinking about it. I should have gone with Froilein so I can uh, increase effect. So I can increase attack on all my things. Uh, Once graveyard special summon. Mom monsters. Fuck it. Phase. No phase. Yes. Who do I want in defense position? You'll work. Yep, cool. <laughs> uh, eh, not all the time. My brain's a little slow, so, you know, I just figure it out as I'm going. Mmm, lovely. And there's end of game. Oh well. Uh, let's look at some of the other decks I have. Do 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 do. I'm on TikTok too much. I have a ton of like. Abba and other songs stuck in my head. Let's see. I do enjoy that people can just look at my deck list and just be like, what, what the fuck are these decks? And I'm just like, oh, I could, I could probably tell you what each of them are just by looking at the name. Uh, but it's more fun just, you know, having people look at them and be completely confused. You can probably guess some of them. Let's see. No, I think it was Soul King Brook was the one I was looking for. Which should be this one. Nope, I was wrong. It's Hummingbrook. Of course it is. 
And yeah, I'm not claiming that any of these decks are good. There it is. Skull Servant deck. I just like to build random decks that I think would be fun to play. And most players are using TCG or are using pre release. Let's go first. Where art thou? <laughs> Four lower normal monster from the deck. Lovely. Graveyard. If a level three or lower zombie monster you control would be destroyed by battle artifact. Okay, so let's activate you. Special summon a Skull Servant in defense position. Then let's activate Where Arf Thou. Grab another King of the Skull Servants. Normal summon King of the Skull Servants. Uh, let's just in phase it, because they'll probably try to destroy King of the Skull Servants. Oh, yes, I was going to. I was supposed to make a room. Whoops. Well, uh, sorry, person. Okay, give me just a moment real quick. Yep, completely slipped my mind. So let me start making that room real quick. Let's just make the password. Pass the gate. Just because. And, okay. There we go. Yeah, and I'll transition back. Uh, password is past the gate. Go ahead and feel free to hop in. I uh, have all the info listed there so you can make it in. I believe I was on casual East Coast server. Capital P, capital T, and capital G, by the way, for past the gate. It's a nice lazy Sunday. I do have to go shopping at some point today, but that'll be a little later. Lena's busy. Cool. Sweet. Oh, yeah, sorry. Do I have to... Here, let me remake the room real quick. Pre-release... Later, Jaden. Let's swap over to Dr. Hogback. Ah, okay, cool. Guess I'll go first then.
Normal summon. Yes. No, don't Ash Blossom or anything like that. <laughs> I have to sit here and be like, hmm, I can't say anything that's in my hand. Because uh, that can immediately be used against me if they're still in stream. <laughs> And let's go ahead and do this. Send that. Special summon in defense. Pay 500. Grab this. Activate that. Normal summon. Yes. Let's see. Uh, no. But let's go ahead and, yeah, that's good. There's probably settings I can activate to where uh, stream can't see my hand, isn't there? I should activate that. <laughs> Ash Blossom that. And then that's going to still add a card to the hand. Oh, was there new Blackwing support added? That's awesome. Sweet. Good for the Blackwings. They were kind of just tossed to the wayside for a long time there. At least a lot of people didn't really use them, and they weren't really considered that good for a while there. But if they're getting new support, hopefully we'll see them coming back stronger and used more often. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's the TG! I have a synchro deck that I like to use him in. It's a uh, junk. Oh, shoot. Getting swapped to attack position. That's not as nice. trying to remember it's a junk synchron that deck that's it and i think i named it after eustace kid <laughs> look at this combo go and another oof <laughs> yeah i don't really play as many combo decks i know i should because it's better to practice combo decks so that if you ever if i ever do uh competitions or anything like that oh that's gonna hit me hard that's a lot of uh black feather counters Oh, geez. 
Yeah, it seems like Black Wings are doing really well for themselves recently. <laughs> keep summoning, 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 summoning. What? Keep summoning, 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 summoning. Huh? Just keeps going. Just make sure not to time yourself out. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, that's going to be a one-turn kill for you, isn't it? How many cards have you drawn this turn? At least, like, close to ten with how many synchro summons you've had. And there's another one, so that's... Uh, that one's not gonna draw. Here it comes. And this should be game. Nice job. <laughs> I should probably get going, though. I do have to do some shopping today, and I just wanted to get one last stream in for the weekend. Thanks for playing against me, and you have a nice week. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next week, uh, or at least next Friday. Feel free to check out my Twitter, my Discord, and my YouTube. They're all in my bio on Twitch. Uh, if you want to just stay updated on when I'm going live or if I have something coming up or anything like that. See you later and good game.